things to know before you come in for your hydrofacial appointment. Stop using retinol and tretinoin three days before. No Botox or injectables two weeks prior. No laser treatments or any other skincare services two weeks prior. Also, it is important to let your provider know whether or not you have been on Accutane recently and whether or not you are pregnant or nursing. Things to expect after your hydrofacial, you may experience a little redness, um, but that usually subsides within five to 10 minutes after your treatment. During your hydrofacial treatment, you may experience a little tingling and that's completely normal. After your hydrofacial, you're gonna not exfoliate or use any retinols for at least two days. And then you can still do all of your regular skincare products, which is really nice. There is zero downtime when it comes to the hydrofacial. You do wanna avoid sun exposure. Obviously wearing your sunscreen every day is extremely important for long-term effects. The amazing thing about a hydrofacial is that it's immediate results. So you're gonna see your skin is glowing. It's gonna feel really hydrated. Those results can last up to one to four weeks. So we always like to recommend you come in every four weeks for your next hydrofacial.